Oh, well, let's get to work. Let's check out some stats. Huh, that video did pretty well. Hey DJ, um, can you answer like a quick question for me? I really need you to answer it. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna be quite blunt with you. I really need to know, is chi blocking real? Well, I mean, kinda. You're gonna have to do better than that. I need you to tell me whether or not I can learn chi blocking in real life. Well, I mean, it's possible mostly. I mean, if you learn a couple different things, you can mimic it pretty well. Okay, let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. Do we, do we really have to do this right now? Um, yes now. Run that intro. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators in a superhero hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja, the YouTube channel we're talking about random fictional fighting styles is just another Wednesday, and today is one of those Wednesdays. Y'all really wanted to know about real life chi blocking, and if I'm being honest, I can't blame you. Ty Lee was able to go toe to toe with some amazing vendors and even whole platoons of people at once. Only some of the absolute best fighters in the series were able to hold out while fighting her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we actually saw Ty Lee or any chi blocker lose a hand to hand fight in either of the Avatar series. Like, chi blockers are just that good. Build different, dog. We build different. So naturally, after seeing someone that successful in combat, my martial arts brain wants to learn how to do it. Well, at least get as close as possible while mimicking it. Which brings us to this episode of Fight Like a Superhero. I mean, the whole point of this series is to teach you how to mimic a fighting style of some of your favorite characters on TV, movies, and video games. And she was absolutely my biggest crush. I mean... Uh, one of my favorite characters on the show. Who am I kidding? Everyone had a crush on Ty Lee. Let's get started. Ty Lee, get over here now! Ty Lee is one of the most acrobatic characters we see in the entire series, and that is super impressive considering she's a non-bender and she's ranking up there with airbenders in her acrobatic skill. So you're definitely gonna wanna start off your training in gymnastics and parkour. Gymnasts are some of the world's best overall athletes. Their training works nearly every muscle in their body and allows them to get impeccable balance. And pairing that with parkour, this will allow you to perform some amazing traversal moves that Tylee can do. The way she flows from person to person during combat or can leap from tree to tree just screams parkour and free running. And for those that don't know, parkour Parkour is a training discipline where the users move from one place to another in a very complex environment. They focus on moving in a fast, flowy, and efficient way. It actually gets its roots from military obstacle courses that were expanded upon into what you see today. Next, you're going to want to build up that flexibility. Yes, gymnasts will make you flexible, but honestly, that's not enough on its own. Ty Lee is legit a contortionist. She's able to twist, turn, and manipulate her body into various different shapes. And she's not only able to do this while just chilling around, hanging out with a bear, but also in a combat situation. So it's definitely time to pull out that yoga mat that you haven't touched since January 2016. Emotional damage! Now that you have built up your body to be able to do all the amazing things that Ty Lee is capable of, it's time to start learning how to implement that into combat. So starting off, if you watch the show closely, Ty Lee pretty much is all hand strikes. Like, nothing but hand but very precise hand strikes so my suggestion is to start off your training with wing chun wing chun is a concept based traditional southern chinese style of kung fu this form of self-defense requires quick arm movements and strong legs to defeat opponents these practitioners absolutely shine by staying relaxed during a combat situation allowing them to move more fluid and quick this style will no doubt teach you how to throw hands just like tai lee why did you throw me gloves? To catch these hands! Now, as far as her defense goes, she is incredibly fast. Like, fast enough to dodge pretty much every attack coming at her. And to train this, I suggest getting some karate style point fighting. Point fighters rely on speed to both land hits on their opponents and block slash dodge strikes from incoming attacks. And to be honest, a lot of people give point fighters crap for not being quote unquote 
tough enough. But there is no denying the level of speed those practitioners can achieve with their training. And on top of that, this will also teach you how to read your opponents and move and anticipate what they're gonna do before they actually do it. A lot like observation hockey in One Piece. Haven't watched the full show? No spoilers in the comments. But this will actually give you more time to react and make you seem even faster in combat than just your natural base speed. And now for the part everyone has been waiting for, chi blocking. Now here's the thing, chi blocking is real. It's just pressure point strikes, but it's not gonna necessarily look the exact same way it's gonna look in the show. But some pressure points can actually cause you to temporarily lose controls of your arms or legs. Some can actually knock the wind out of you and some can even knock you out almost instantaneously. The pressure point stomach nine, which is right on your carotid artery, is one of the most famous for that. Striking a point can make your entire body go weak, knock someone out, or even kill someone if it's done the right or wrong way. And with that said, I feel like it's a really good time to mention that these strikes can cause a lot of damage. Like, I'm talking permanent damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage! So these moves are just like all martial arts and should only be used in self-defense situations where your only option is to fight for your life. But with that out of the way, there are actually tons more pressure points that can be used on the body in a combat situation. The ones on your biceps and thighs can stop opponent's limbs if you've ever been dead -legged you kind of know that feeling. The ones in the head can knock people out like the ones in the jaw or the back of the head. And ones in your shoulders and rib cage can cause intense pain. But if I'm gonna be honest with you, some of the best combat pressure points in the fight really quickly but much less elegantly. For example, striking pressure points like the eyes, the nose, the throat, the chin, and temples can cause a lot of damage very quickly. So being able to accurately and quickly hit those targets would make Tylee's real world fighting style something nobody would wanna mess with. Now, I can't and won't go into all the pressure points on the body. That would be three or four videos long even if I could do it. But if you truly wanna fight like Ty Lee, this is something you're gonna have to know. So my suggestion would be going to actual like college and taking some medical classes. Maybe pay attention in your biology class because the body is what you're gonna have to study. But after years of training and learning these things and mixing them all together, the fighting style you get at the end should be the real life equivalent of Ty Lee's fighting style in Avatar The Last Airbender. Basically a real life chi blocking and I for one couldn't ask for more. And after a few chi blocking lessons, they said I could join their group. We're gonna be best friends forever. With that said, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see me break down more fighting styles, make sure you hit me with the HBO special. If you don't know what the HBO special is, it's the help a brother out special. And all that means is you gotta help a brother out, hit the like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And of course, check out the playlist down below or at the end of the video to see if I've already covered some of your favorite characters out there. Fair warning, I am taking a new approach into these videos recently, so I'm gonna be redoing a lot of the old outdated videos that I've done in the past going forward. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.